That's right. the, the old, okay, I know you're all from the same fraternity. Just wondering if you were all in the same pledge class and who was the biggest pussy during pledge ship. Kevin and I were in the same pledge class. Eric and Steve were in the same pledge class right. a year below us. And Paul was in a singing fraternity. <laughs> right. So I think the question is answered, but, right? Yeah. But like we had, uh, what was your nickname? Uh, Tom Tom Tit. Tit. You well, get, everyone yeah. gets a pledge name. And this is the way our guys did it, our, our guys who gave the names out. They all met at a bar. They were supposed to bring one book each, and they would pull the names out of it. So one of the guys brought an Australian slang, slang dictionary. And so that's where your name came from, Tom Tit, which means I don't even know what that means. It doesn't mean pregnant woman, does it? That's mine. Oh, okay. Mine was clucky, which is an Australian word for pregnant woman. Yeah, right. And then uh, I don't remember what Stanley Hansky and Levin. And then there. your nickname became Queen. Right. Because uh, I was, uh, he was coming out of the shower on the third floor of our fraternity house one day, and he was wearing a royal blue towel, but he was wearing it above his nipple line. And his hair was kind of post-shower, and he was very pale-skinned, and he looked very much like the Queen of England. <laughs> so we started calling him Queen. I don't know. I don't My know. nickname was Chaka Cocksucker. It was Shaka Cocksucker, so, you know, you're right. What do you want? Jay Shaka Cocksucker. So? I like that better than Tom Tit. Okay. 